Ours is the only family left that truly cares what happens to Winterhold. Courier will be the first to tell you that if it weren't for that college, we'd all be better off. I agree with him. Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? What's your business here in Winterhold? Hmm. Should have known. Not that it matters anymore. No one bothers coming to Winterhold for any other reason. What's there to tell? It's mostly gone now, thanks to those damned mages in the college. Someday there'll be proof they caused the Great Collapse. Most of the city just dropping off into the sea. That doesn't just happen. I do. And if you count yourself among their numbers, then you've blood on your hands as well. There's nothing left of Winterhold. Nothing. Everyone knows it's the college's fault that the sea swallowed our city. Still, they deny it. But we all know the truth. Winterhold has lost much of its history, and with that much of its power. I aim to change that. I've heard rumors of the resting place of the Helm of Winterhold. The very same helm that Jarl Hansa wore in the First Era. Hansa was in line to be High King of Skyrim, you know. Having that might get the ear of the other holds, and give me some authority. Good. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for your return. Good day. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Staying safe, I hope. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Very funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. Wasn't by choice, I can tell you that. Options were in short supply. Branmir and I grew up here, and nearly any money I make, he drinks away. Without the coin to pack up and leave, I decided to take to trading. Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. Some line about this claw thing in Ingol Barrow. He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber, I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tomb filled with who knows what. I don't even care anymore. You want to check it out? Fine. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold and then it's your problem. Fine, here you go. You get killed on account of this thing? It's not my fault. Got it? 
But I suppose if it does actually turn out to be worth something, let me know, will you? Until next time. <laughs>